Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy, sometimes mouse, and I talk about books and book-related things. And today, I'm telling you about the Clear Your Shift 4.5 announcement. Let's get talking about it. So, last year, we finally defeated the wizard at Shelfla, who's been destroying Shelfla politically for years. We finally destroyed him, huzzah, and saved, you know, Shelfla and the peasants and the witches. All of that. Congrats. Woohoo. Ariadne, she wants to find herself. So to do so, she's leaving Shelfla because it's all she's ever known. Narrator, worried about Ariadne. I mean, sorry, not worried about Ariadne. Whatever narrator wants to pretend. Decided that Ariadne is too nice and has opted to go with her. And then all of us peasants, losers, weirdos, etc. are also on this spaceship. Um, also on this spaceship would be Star, the tarot reader from last year's readathon either the big when did we do last year's readathon and then <laughs> also strawberry bot as always of course strawberry bot's there he's been there this whole time i just don't always remember to like include him in the storyline but he's been there this whole time in case you wondered he's my favorite little robot guy that i've ever designed in my whole life not that i've designed up a lot of robot guys but anyway there's story bot story bot strawberry bot this year, some changes. Some changes are happening and coming, and it's just for the mini readathon, so don't worry yourself too, too much. Uh, our narrator for the mini readathon this year is going to be Star. This is because sometimes I like to play other characters, and also, narrator is. She's busy. Narrator's busy being busy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what she's doing in her free time. You worry about yourself, right? Maybe she's buying books. Probably not, but worry about yourself. Uh, so, narrator's busy, so Star will be narrating essentially that doesn't mean narrator is not there it just means that she will not be the one narrating we also usually do a bingo board for this this year we are not doing a bingo board we are doing this situation it is loosely inspired by candyland um for a little while there and if you are a part of the patreon you probably saw this post uh i had loosely named this hasbro don't sue me land and it was supposed to be much more candyland-esque uh but then inspiration took over and I stuck more closely to familiar themes of clear your shit and that's kind of where we are here. I could have gone the more pastel candy route for sure. Uh, in that original draft I even mentioned like uh, narrator being the licorice guy in Candyland. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Especially if you're not from the United States, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, we also talked about it being snakes or shoots and ladders themed as well, but I didn't know how to figure that in. Uh, so this is the this is the board we have now. I really, really like this board. I hand drew it myself. I'm really pleased with the way that it all came out. Um, obviously, I use Canva for some of the like finer details, but I hand drew the board myself. So really pleased with how it turned out. Do you know how hard it is to draw a squiggly line like that? You'd think it wouldn't be that hard, but it actually was very difficult to get the way I wanted it to be. Uh, but we're good now. It's <laughs> We're good to go now. Uh, that's all of the big changes, I think. We still have a free space, all of that. So really, it's just that Star is narrating right now, and also that um, the board is no longer a bingo board. It is now just a game board, which, I mean, if you think about the way the game boards work, you roll a dice and you could go you know, one way or the other. I wanted to make it very clear also that this is not me like copying anybody else's game board TBR situations that they do as much as I love those and I think they're fantastic. I want Clear Your Shit to maintain its own individuality where it can as a readathon in a sea of many many readathons so there's that thinking for it being more like this curvy Candyland-esque situation instead of like a Monopoly board like Becca and the and the books and I love her bookopoly, uh, but I didn't want it to seem like I was stealing from her bookopoly. Uh, I've seen people do spinning boards, and I think those are great too, but I wanted to make sure that this kind of maintained its own individuality, and I think I did an okay job with that, but here we are. This is something I worry about needlessly. I'm pretty sure it's pretty needless. Like, I, I think you guys know, like, the things I get inspiration from, and I try to be very transparent about ideas, but 
here we are. <laughs> uh, and if you if you don't know, if you don't watch my vlogs, then you don't know that I have kind of been struggling with the with this year and like getting things out and down on on paper, so to speak, uh, for this. So I'm I'm really pleased that it's all come together. So all this rambling aside, uh, we have prompts. We have nine prompts per usual. Well, eight because of the free space, but. I'm going to go through those for you in just a moment. Um, if you have never participated in the readathon before and this is your first year, this is a great year, honestly, because this is the start to a new beginning, essentially, because we're going to be moving into a different world with different rules, with different people, not rules, but different people, different backstories, that sort of thing. So if you're new, I think this is a good, like, part point to start at right without feeling like oh, I missed out on all of these other readathons like I feel like I'm not a part of these things first off our community is very welcoming so like come join the discord we're super nice um but yeah there's that the rules though for the readathon as always are do whatever you want and I cannot fucking emphasize that enough let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you right now if you think if it crosses your mind does this count yes the answer is yes if you feel like, I should ask Andy if this counts, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Because the answer is it counts. I really don't want to police your reading. <laughs> um, you don't want a prize. You don't get a cookie. You don't get anything. Like, narrator doesn't even congratulate you because she doesn't like any of you. Like, you, you don't get, like, a pat on the back. Um, you get me celebrating that you read a single book. That's really it. I'm going to love it if you... If you even tried to read a book and didn't even successfully do it, I'm still going to celebrate you. Uh, if you read a hundred books somehow for these nine prompts in a month, I'll celebrate you. But nobody's grading you. <laughs> there is no prize. There is no award. So, with that out of the way, I think that's it. It starts on June 1st. It ends on June 31st. Uh, the schedule, I'll try and put the, the graphic here, but the blog posts will have the schedule. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the prompts. So first we have a book you got because of other media, i.e. a movie, another book, or social media. This means if a social media person on YouTube or whatever said, hey, I really like this book on TikTok, whatever, then you can go, oh, this counts for this prompt, right? Like this applies. If like you watched Three Body Problem on Netflix and wanted to, to make a prompt about it uh, because you want to read the books, then this counts. <laughs> No, that's not what happened. That's not why this prompt exists. Then this counts, though. Um, if you got it from another book, if another book references another book, and you're like, wow, I really liked it, or a song references a book title or a quote from a book, and you're like, that sounds really interesting, and I want to read it, go nuts, bestie. Like, have at it. That's what's what this is referencing. Uh, then we have a book that is from your favorite genre. That's pretty self-explanatory. A book with a white or sparkly cover. If this is, like, an ebook, it doesn't matter. It still counts. Uh, a book with drama. This could mean anything. Anything. Low stakes, high stakes, any stakes, drama. A book you have low expectations for. So a book, basically, it's a book that you keep putting off because you're like, I have other things I want to read and like, I don't really think this is going to be that good anyway. So like, then why do you still have it, bestie? Why do you still have it? Get rid of it. Either get rid of it or try to read it. So yeah, this is my like punishment prompt. Why do you still have it if you have super low expectations and so you've been avoiding reading it? You shouldn't still have it or you should read it. A book with a map. Lots of books on maps. <laughs> Your free space. A book that someone recommended to you. So it could be not even to you. It just is a book that someone recommended. So it could be a YouTube recommendation, a TikTok recommendation. It kind of plays into the first prompt, except that the first prompt isn't based on recommendations. It's just like, did you see this in media? Then go nuts. Um, this is more if it was a like actually a recommendation. I recommend you read this, then read this. And then the last one is read a book that is a part of a series, because for me, I know that I frequently put off continuing series, not for any reason, but I just like kind of forget that they're there, or like I have other things that I'm trying to pick up, or I'm taking a break from a series and then I just don't pick it up again. So that's why that prompt is there. I think it's I think it's a good prompt. While a lot of this is me and art coming up with these things, or art serving as my sounding board, which has been a fantastic help, uh, even throughout either one of us being busy, it's been super, super helpful. I want to give a special shout out, shout out to Lexi and Landis. They run uh, Sapphic September, which will happen in September, and they also did Sapphic Spring, which was in April. 
and uh, I want to give a huge shout out to them because they are also a little bit of a sounding board these days and so I can send them the list of prompts and be like I need one more prompt uh, so like Lexi gave me some recommendations for the ninth prompt because I was just like I don't know what to do here so that is that is it I want to I do but I, I want to like shout out to them and like heavy heavy thank you to them because they are great and they make great content with their suffolk um, September and spring etc so also Lexi a lot of the time is the person who makes the um like TBR graphics for clear your shit just like because she wants to track her own anyway so thanks Lexi okay um that's it that's the video <laughs> short and sweet because it is the mini readathon so you get a mini video but I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you enjoy the readathon please let me know in the comments down below if you participate if you've participated before if you're new whatever I love it I love hearing about it uh, don't ask me if it counts though I don't love that maybe I should just block that comment now just kidding but Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming. You didn't show up at my house, but thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, maybe check out some of my other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe and share. If you didn't enjoy this video, it's the readathon, so I don't know what to tell you. Bye. <laughs> uh, I post videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time uh, every single week except for the first full week of the month. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget to take your meds, drink your water, and do something today to take care of yourselves, like maybe not purchasing more books that you haven't read. Okay, thanks, bye.